Today, the city of Dallas voted to ban plastic bags at local retailers in a similar ordinance to the one Austin adopted more than one year ago. But some retailers are calling on the state's attorney general to overturn these ordinances, questioning whether the bag bans align with the state's health and safety laws. KXAN's David Yeoman shows us the impact of the ban so far and why some are adamantly defending it. Let us keep our bag ban in place and just stay out of this. We, we, we've passed this and it works. This morning, leaders from Texas cities with plastic bag bans gathered in Austin to tell the Attorney General how they feel. We don't want to go back to the days when our fields were a sea of bags and the bags were tangled in the fences, the trees. Aiden Cohen with Austin Resource Recovery calls the environmental impact of the bag ban in Austin significant, with about 30% fewer bags going into landfills. We are really proud of our business community here in Austin and the shoppers who have made small changes that have a big impact in our community. A community that's not afraid to speak up on the issue. Bag pollution is a threat to our health and our welfare and our communities. We call on the Attorney General today to keep his nose out of local government's business. The Texas Retailers Association is against the plastic bag bans. They say the bans have a larger impact on lower income families, could impair existing recycling efforts, and are not a comprehensive solution to the problem. The Attorney General's office is expected to issue an opinion on this by September. All right, David, thank you. And we know if the Attorney General says the bans are illegal, it could open cities up to lawsuits. Right now, nine cities have bans in effect, including Austin and Sunset Valley. Dallas's city council just approved their bag fees today. San Antonio and Corpus Christi are also considering a ban. Even before Austin's bag ban took effect, it had plenty of opposition. Last February, some conservative students at UT Austin protested by handing out grocery bags, saying the city's government was intrusive and overreaching. A bill in the state capitol aimed at stopping cities from enacting bag bans never made it out of committee. And the Texas Retailers Association eventually dropped its lawsuit against Austin's ban because the group could not prove the ban caused direct harm.